there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on your whole food nutrition, how you can match it to your hormones and body physiology to get and keep the best result possible. Now, I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon, and upcoming book, The Female Menopause Solution, soon to be coming out, soon to be coming out very soon. So you can get on the wait list for that. I'm also the host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. So you, you can subscribe just to stay up to date on all my latest episodes. And I have a YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy, with all my archived videos. Now, I want to talk about, do I really need to detox? I don't think I do. I can't tell you how many times I hear this from people. Um, I don't want to say health professionals because most health professionals understand the importance of detox. But other like fitness you know, <laughs> social media celebrities, where they're like, you don't need to detox, just eat clean, and that you'll, you'll be fine, you don't need to do any of this stuff, that's all a bunch of crap, and I'm like, okay. So, yes, your body is designed to detox on its own, right? You have specific organs that help with that, your skin can help with that, but you are often exposed to, in your environment, so many other chemicals and things that it's too much for your system to do on its own without any help. Yes. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes in our environment, there are chemicals and things that are introduced that the, the things just didn't used to be like that, right? 200 years ago, things are very different than they are today in terms of our environment. So our bodies have not really evolved that quickly in that short amount of time to handle all that stuff to make sure that it's not having a negative impact on our system. And... And the other really cool thing about nature, because yes, our bodies are supposed to detoxify things naturally, you can also use other natural things, other herbs, other teas, other specific foods that help your body detox more. So that's what I'm doing in this five-day challenge. It is a, it's going to teach your body how to burn more fat and do a gut detox. Very, very, very important to do. So I'm going to put this link in the comments right now so you guys can get signed up if you are not signed up. It's free, five days. I'm going to go through so many different things and a lot of this stuff is really going to be about how you can get your system to do this naturally. Again, using regular stuff, using herbs, using spices. So fun, but it actually is designed to help your system do better what it's already designed to do. Not to make it do something it's not supposed to do, but to do better what it's designed to do already. That's a true detox, refreshing your system, right? From the inside out. And I mean, if you've ever eaten out, eaten out at a restaurant, you're going to need to do this. Um, I use this as an example today in my Instagram stories. This is just a little cheap bottle of honey. I'm not going to be using this or eating it at all. Um, but I got this at a store. It's very inexpensive. And the ingredients on it, the first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. Second ingredient, corn syrup. Third ingredient, honey. What? Three ingredients in this, and the third one is honey. That means that there's actually more high fructose corn syrup and more corn syrup in here than there is honey. But it looks like honey, doesn't it? Looks like it would be honey, it's the right color. It's in a little bear, it's really cute. It's not actually honey. So a lot of times restaurants and other places that prepare and make food will use you know, products like this that have really inexpensive ingredients because they can produce and make food at a lower cost, increasing their you know, profit margins and everything. But that doesn't mean that you're actually getting real food unless you're eating at high quality restaurants or making sure that you know all the ingredients and everything. They'll use foods like this, right? Carrie, all of the faces you make. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> um, but this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is ridiculous. So it's like going to a restaurant and like um, one of my favorite places to have breakfast, they don't use real maple syrup and it bugs the crap out of me. And sometimes we don't go there and we go to a different breakfast restaurant because they use real maple syrup, right? It, it, it makes a huge difference. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's, it's amazing that like fake maple syrup, it's just, it's corn syrup. And people are so used to it and thinking, oh, it's, it's okay, it's just syrup. No, use real maple syrup. I don't care about the sugar in it. I don't care about any of that stuff. Use real maple syrup. There's actually things like antioxidants in maple syrup, right? 
But again, people, oh, this is maple syrup, it's fine, right? You go out to eat at a restaurant, you're like, I'm eating protein and I'm just gonna have some carb here, have some pancake and you drizzle this fake stuff all over it. Oh, right? It's the same thing with honey. Little things like this though make a big difference in terms of how well your system responds being exposed to all this other garbage, right? And sometimes it might not be stuff that you intended. Right? You can go to the grocery store and buy all organic, but if you go to eat at a food truck or at a restaurant or at a cafe or something, you're not always in charge of exactly where your food comes from or the ingredients that they're using. So that's why doing a gut detox is gonna be so powerful. That's why doing a reset is gonna really just get your body to the next level. That's why I'm doing this free five day challenge, getting your body to burn more fat and <sighs> detox your gut from stuff like this. Please don't, please don't eat this. I'm not gonna eat this. It does, you know, I will be honest though. I will sm It smells like honey, right? There could be other like little flavorings in there or something too. It looks like honey. It smells like honey. But it's corn syrup. <laughs> it's high fructose corn syrup. Ugh. Yes. Erin, I purchased real honey typically from local farms. Yes. Less ingredients is better. Oh, always. Always, right? Yes. That's amazing. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Click the link below, join the free five day challenge, share it with your friends because if you learned something new, if you were not aware of this, if you are running to your pantry right now to look at your honey, <laughs> you need to join the challenge and you need to send it to pretty much all of your friends so that they can know this too. Yes, all right. Everybody have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys later.